Good morning. Good morning. It's a brand new vlogging year. A new year, new, new do. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time it's the first Monday of a new year, you'll be alerted to it. So it is Monday, January 3rd, first vlog of the new year. It is actually day three of beef, butter, bacon, and egg 2.0. What is 2.0? It means we're also on the occasion, and, and you know, including keto chow, if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link for what we are doing for the month of January right up here. And I'm loving it. I'm excited about it. And we didn't vlog day one or day two because day one was New Year's Day. And we wanted to relax that day. And then day two was Sunday, which we're trying to keep a Sabbath. Yeah. And so now this is day three and it kind of messes with me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm so OCD. It's like, I need to alphabetize it. It's CDO for me. And I want day one on a Monday. Like it needs to be, the date needs to be January 1st, but it's yeah. not, I'm gonna have to deal with it. So we started off just to let you know for the first couple days, we had burgers on on Saturday. Yeah. Because Anthony had some of his friends from the youth group over on Friday night. And it was just nice to know, like, our children were home safe. Yeah. So they were, we, we kind of let them do their thing. They lit fires and they Not had in fireworks. The no, in, in the solo pit. stove. Yeah. And Anthony made, like, a ton of burgers. So we just decided, you know what, on New Year's Day, we're going to have burgers and bacon and eggs, and it was delicious. And then yesterday, while we were at church, we got a, a fun text message from John Paul, and like, hey, are you guys going to be home after church? Because we want to come and just yes. hang out. And I'm yes, like, we will. of course. And then we're like, you want to have dinner? And they came by with dinner. It was funny, because later on in the afternoon, while you were still at church, he texted me, he's like, you know, we have Jenny, right? Is it okay to bring Jenny? And I'm like... Oh, you like Jenny can come over without you. Even. Right. And the dogs had a blast playing. They destroyed one of the toys, which is what they're there for. That's what they're supposed to do. They went swimming and then we made burgers and keto chow chili. And it was delicious. And we actually stopped and got some cauliflower rice for them to have the chili over because we know that our chili may not be the chili that they're accustomed to eating. Right, no beans. Right, exactly, no beans. And so, you know, you're always trying to add on to make it more palatable. Not that meat stew even needs to have any help, but we brought some cauliflower rice home. And I noticed, I'm not somebody that eats cauliflower rice on the regular, but seeing somebody else have something that, that, I, have. that I can't have on a challenge I started to get a phone call from my cravings. It was like, ring, 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 ring. I know if I pick up that phone, right. it's just complaints yep. from my brain, right? You need this. I can't believe you're doing this. Your challenge is stupid. Like, I know what I'm going to get if I answer that call. So you know what? I sent it to voicemail in George Costanza-like manner from Seinfeld. I actually have a song playing in my mind when the cravings begin and it is believe it or not rachel isn't at home please leave a message after the tone if i was here i'd pick up the phone who could it be believe it or not i'm not home that was good i am sending all of my cravings to voicemail i like that this month so i did want to say our keto chow chili that we had yesterday was revamped to fit into beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. So basically what it was, was our keto chow chili recipe, video is right up here, uh, but what I did was, it was literally just bacon, pork, beef, and spices, and then the tomato basil keto chow with beef bone broth, but I didn't add any of the sweetener, because my recipe calls for sweetener, and I didn't use any of the peppers, the onions. 
I didn't even, I bet you didn't even notice this. I didn't even add the garlic because I figured that like we, we're trying to limit spices because there are carbs in spices. You can't have chili without chili powder and cumin. And I was like, well, garlic also adds, you know, more carbs to something, even though you're breaking into a lot of different, you know, portions. I left the garlic out and I feel like it tasted pretty good even without the garlic. Now I like it with the garlic, but we're trying to limit stuff for beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. I thought it was delicious. And we have been using it as burger toppings and beef hot dog toppings. I'd even put that on a pork chop. Like I think it is really delicious. Good. And as a topper, when you're eating it with other things, yeah, I didn't notice very filling. that anything was missing. Yeah. So uh, we're starting off our day with our first meal of the day. A coffee experience? This is a coffee experience, but I know we are like 10 minutes away from keto on the couch. So I'm bringing so that experience. your coffee experience will continue in yes. there. But this is uh, this coffee is two eggs between the two of us. So we have, you know, basically each one of us is having an egg and a tablespoon of butter. And I'm telling you that we're starting off with our first meal because that is a meal, right? You're having an egg and you are having butter. Therefore, you are having a meal. Yeah. But this is a nice way to start off the day without eating a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, later on, our our first meal on the first vlog is going to be a pot roast. So this is a chuck roast that I salted and then I put some of the uh, garlic pepper from Redmond. I salted it on Saturday. Then yesterday I put the pepper, the garlic pepper on there and you can see how it it's looks getting this like aged look to it. It is getting an aged look. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cook this and I'm going to show it on the video in the instant pot and make a pot roast with no vegetables because beef, butter, bacon, and egg. And it is possible. And then uh, after keto on the couch, we still have not gotten your car back. So I need to make phone calls to I find know, out what's going it? on with your car. And then I also need to go to Aldi. A couple things I want to do. I'm thinking about possibly going to get some more sod because there were some areas in the backyard where the sod didn't take. And the chickens love the fact that, hey, there was no sod, so they've dug holes. They're not right. touching where the sod did take, but they are digging up other parts, and I'd like it all to be great. They are taking advantage of where it didn't take. I did want to mention real quick before we go do keto on the couch that I did get myself a present on New Year's Day. I ran over to the store and I got myself a soda stream. Look at these cute little bottles. They, they are have now. really adorable. So we got the regular. I bought. I got ours from Bed Bath and Beyond. Dishwasher safe. So um, Bed Bath and Beyond lets you use the coupon on their soda stream. So I got the newest one because you don't have to screw the canister in the bag. It just kind of pops in. And so I got that one in a bottle. And then I ordered bottles on Amazon. And Rachel came home and she was like. You really bought a soda stream? We had one years ago. But for a while, the, the CO2 was very expensive. I even started making my own with dry ice. That was a fun experience for Rachel to come home I love coming home to my children with like dry ice and beakers and such. Yeah, but the reason I got it is because seltzer water is getting very expensive. And we are allowing ourselves seltzer water and sparkling water on, you know, beef, butter, bacon, and egg. And I figured this was a really good way to do it because... At $6 a 12-pack now, it's just cheaper to do it this way. It comes out to be like 25 cents a liter. But I like – I got a couple of these little bottles on Amazon, and it's this is good for travel because, look, it even has like a, a little strap for It's you. so stinking cute. They also now have this. I thought – I was like – does Bubbly start making alcohol? Those look like the bottles you right? get on an airplane. But now we never really liked the soda flavoring from Soda Stream. They just, they weren't as good. No. And, and when I go back to drinking soda after beef, butter, bacon, egg, I will go back to Zevia. But what's nice about this is I literally put this little capful into the full one liter bottle and it gives a nice flavor and I'm saving a ton of money. And Bed Bath & Beyond lets you use the coupons on this as well. Is this cherry bubbly flavor a Heath special because on the side of the oh, bottle, it says, hey, hey Wow. Did we have a mess with keto on the couch today? Did not go as planned, but you know what? Plans rarely do go as planned is what we've kind of noticed. So I'm really sorry if you're watching keto on the couch episode 147 this week. It glitched out on us. It just wasn't working correctly, but I feel very successful that we didn't give up 
and that we didn't get all ticked off. I mean, definitely past Rachel and Joe, we would have come back, Joe would have been sweating, and I would have looked like I just got done crying because I would have just got done crying because it used to be when plans didn't go the way we wanted, we just sort of like emotioned out. And I feel really successful. Talk about non-skill victory is that we didn't lose the day because our plans didn't go as planned. We get a lot of messages from people like, how can you afford to eat keto, especially if you're eating mostly meat? Well, this is how. I had to stop at Aldi to get a couple things and ran across this sale. This is their Never Any brand, which is meat that has like no antibiotics, no hormones, no fillers or anything like that. They had these packages of ground pork on sale for 50% off. Worked out to be $1.79 a package. I bought every single package. All you gotta do is take this home and stick in the freezer. So that's what we look for. We look for really cheap meat deals, stock up and then throw it in the freezer. A great place to look for that also is Sam's Club. One of the things we really enjoyed the last time we did beef, butter, bacon and egg was Maria Emmerich's protein sparing bread. And I will leave a link for her original video right up here. What we liked about it was is it brought another dynamic to beef, butter, bacon and egg. So when we would get bored with just having a hamburger or you know having runny eggs with nothing to kind of sop it up with, the bread was a great vehicle. It was a great thing to have just as another part of our meal. And we really enjoyed it. And since the only ingredient in there is egg whites, it didn't deviate from the actual beef, butter, bacon, and egg protocol. Now, since doing that, we've actually started adding a couple of other things in there just to kind of change it up and see if we can improve the texture. And we've tried a lot of different things. And today I wanna to show you exactly what we do when we make our protein bread. So let me show you what the ingredients you're gonna need are. The first thing you're gonna need is obviously some eggs. Now we tried making this a lot of different ways, including using just the egg white powder and adding water. And honestly, I find it's easier to just use real eggs and then adding the egg white powder later on. First of all, it's cheaper because you could buy a dozen eggs between a dollar to a dollar fifty, and then just separate out the egg yolks. You can use them in another recipe. You're actually gonna use some of them in this one. And then we give whatever we don't use to our animals because it's really good for them. It's great for their coat. You can also use it in one of your egg coffees. Uh, but I find it's just easier to separate out the egg whites and there's less of an opportunity for it to fail. Then we're gonna need some egg white protein powder. Now I like the keto chow one, but we've used other ones as well. Uh, they all work pretty much the same. Although I like the fact that the keto chow one has sunflower lecithin in it. I think it gives a better texture to the overall bread. Uh, we're going to use some cream of tartar, some Redmond Real Salt, a scoop of savory chicken soup from Keto Chow, and then two to three egg yolks, depending on the size. Now we generally don't use allulose when it comes to making the bread. I don't find it makes a huge difference and I just don't want all of the increased total carbs. If you're on beef, butter, bacon, and egg, you shouldn't be adding the allulose because that is a sweetener. If you're making this when you're not on beef, butter, bacon, egg, feel free to add up to a quarter of a cup of allulose. So first thing we're gonna do is turn on our oven and set it to 325 degrees. Next, we're gonna take our stand mixer. We're going to go ahead and get it slowly going. And we're gonna add in 12 egg whites. To that, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar and a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of Redmond Real Salt. Go ahead and turn that on high and let it get to stiff peaks for about five minutes. Okay, now that everything's up to stiff peaks, what we're gonna do is we're going to add in about three quarters of a cup of the egg white powder and I turn it on very low when I do this, otherwise you get a big poof. And I have 85 grams here. And as that's mixing, I'm going to add in one serving of the savory chicken soup from Keto Chow. I'm gonna go ahead and, and turn it up a little bit and let that mix a little bit. Now what I like to do is just take a little spatula and kind of scrape down the sides to make sure everything gets incorporated. And then we're gonna give it one more mix. Now 
Okay, now we're gonna turn it on low and we're going to add in two to three egg yolks depending on how big they are and you wanna do this very quickly and then don't over mix it otherwise it'll fall. And that's good. Next, I'm gonna take my loaf pan and I'm gonna spray a little bit of avocado oil in there. And then I actually like to put just a piece of parchment because it helps a little bit easier to get out. It doesn't have to cover it all, it just helps lift it out. So we're just gonna put that in there and form it to the pan. And once I've done that, I put a little bit more avocado oil in there. And now we're just gonna simply put the bread mixture into the pan. And now I'm just gonna kind of smooth it out. Now you're gonna see that it doesn't look like this is got a lot in there and that's because this is a bigger pan. I'm really enjoying these pans. I'll show you what they are in a minute. Then what we like to do is just sprinkle a little bit of Redmond on top and also a little bit of the Redmond organic garlic pepper just to give it a little something on the top. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for about 30 minutes. So the pan I'm using is the Wilton Loaf Pan. I got them on Amazon. I will leave a link for it down below. Uh, it comes in a set of two. They weren't very expensive, but what I really like about them is they're uh, not the normal size of a loaf pan. They're 12 inches long, so they're longer. And also they're not quite as wide as your average loaf pan. I think they're only three and a half inches wide, but I just like the bread that I get out of it. Now, something else I wanted to mention is when we're not doing beef butter, bacon and eggs, something we started adding in uh, after everything is all beat up, right when you mix in all of your, you know, egg white powder and your keto chow, we started adding in about a, oops, wrong way, about a tablespoon of these minced dried onions. Definitely not a requirement, uh, but I like the flavor it brings, but not having these on beef butter, bacon, egg. But if you're not having beef butter and bacon, egg, go ahead and try adding about a tablespoon of the minced onions to it. So my 30 minute timer is up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an egg wash, which I just do one egg beaten up. I don't add anything to it. It's both the egg white and the yolk. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just brush the top a little bit, put it back in the oven for two or three minutes, and that's gonna let me have a little bit of a golden brown top without having the allulose in there. Okay, so the bread is done. Now we're gonna go ahead and just turn off the oven, but we're gonna let it stay in here for a little while. So bread is done, it's cooled off. This is what it looks like coming out of the oven. Now again, because there is no allulose at all, it doesn't have that like dark brown top, but I do like having that little bit of egg on the top, which is completely optional. But let me go ahead and show you the texture inside. Oh, Caleb took my bread knife out of here. Here's the one. We can go ahead and cut this and you can see it does have that nice bread texture and I will let Rachel try a piece. It's nice and spongy the way I like it. And it tastes really good. I mean, it's substantial as a piece of bread. So adding the keto chow definitely changes the texture of the bread to make it more bread-like. And honestly, I like the texture better than adding in the egg yolk powder. And I also like it better than adding in the butter powder. I think you're getting butter the powder. same thing as if you're using butter powder because again you're adding in the keto chow and the keto chow is a milk base so i think that's what's changing it up and basically what is butter powder it's a cream well now that the front room is done i actually have my she shed back so i've got some giant pictures that still need to be hung in other rooms but other than that i have so much more room for activities so while i'm waiting for lunch to cook i'm going to go ahead and play a little oculus So it's about 3.30 and we're gonna go ahead and start the roast. We're using the Instant Pot. Let me show you what we're gonna do. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press the saute button, which I've already done, and we're gonna get this thing heated up. And then once it's heated up, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a little bit of chopped up bacon inside of the pan. And we're gonna cook that down just a little bit, just enough so that we can get some bacon grease in there and uh, 
then we're gonna crisp it up just a little bit, but don't overcook it. Once your bacon's rendered down some of the fat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out and then we're gonna add a little bit of garlic in. Now we're gonna take about one and a half teaspoons of minced garlic or about one clove. Go ahead and add that into your bacon grease and kind of let the flavors come together. And then we're gonna go ahead and sear the roast. So I took all of the butcher string off of the roast and I cut it into four pieces to make it a little bit easier to sear everything. And to give you an idea, you can see this is where the salt has been sitting on here, giving it that little bit of an aging, but there's the inside where there was no salt. So you can see what that salt does and that's gonna bring a lot of flavor into it. So now what we're gonna do is just sear these pieces and it's best to do it one or two pieces at a time and then let the pan come back up to temperature. You only need to do a few seconds on each side. We're just trying to sear it a little bit. Make sure you get all the sides. Okay, now that everything is seared, we're going to go ahead and take all our meat out. We're going to add in about a cup of water. That'll clean up that whole bottom. You can even use your tongs, whatever, and help scrape some of that off because it's all going to bring a bunch of flavor in there. We're going to go ahead and add all of our meat back in. Now, if you're not on beef, butter, bacon, egg, you can do this and add a little bit of onion in there, maybe some mushrooms, uh, anything you want like that. You can even add a couple of carrots. You know, a couple of carrots aren't going to kill you. We're going to go ahead and add our bacon back in. And then we're gonna add in about two teaspoons of the Redmond organic garlic pepper. Go ahead and close up the Instapot. Make sure we put it on cooking in the Instapot, not on venting. Now this is a mistake a lot of people make. You're gonna have to hit cancel. You have to turn off the sear mode. The only way to do it is to hit cancel. Then we're gonna hit pressure cook and we're gonna cook it for an hour and 20 minutes on high. Okay, so we've had this resting for about 24 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and see if there's any steam left in there. Let that out, and then we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Okay, steam is all out. We're gonna go ahead and take that out. Oh, look at that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these pieces of meat out, put them in a bowl. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to spoon out some of that bacon. Now what we're gonna do is take the liquid and add to it one scoop of the Keto Chow beef soup base. And we're gonna take a whisk and blend it. And you can also do this with an immersion blender. Now once you have everything mixed, you're gonna see you have a nice thick gravy. If you want it thicker and you're not on beef, butter, bacon, and egg, you can go ahead and add a little bit of xanthan gum, just like a quarter of a teaspoon. And you can even use about a quarter of a teaspoon of terra gum. That'll make it nice and thick. But since we're doing beef, butter, bacon, egg, we're not gonna add any extra thickeners. We're gonna go ahead and just shred up our beef and then we're gonna pour this over the beef. So dinner is ready, but Rachel is hanging out in the hot tub talking to Anthony, so I need to go get her. Okay, so here's our beef. You can do a couple things. You can kind of shred it up or you can go ahead and chop it up into pieces however you like it. Do you want it shredded or cubed? I want it shredded. So since Rachel wants it shredded, we're just gonna take two forks and kind of shred it apart. Look at how easily that pulls apart. Waiting patiently for a bite. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the bacon, put it in here, and then just kind of toss it around a little bit. Rachel's trying to steal food. Mmm, I was successful. Okay, now all I have to do is plate it. We are having beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, and keto chow in one dish. Absolutely, because you're not quite done yet. See, here we go. Here's the gravy we made with just the drippings from the beef and one serving of the keto chow beef soup base. And we've got lots of leftovers. So there's, look at how much gravy you have left, you know, so you're not even eating like all of the keto chow. 
And then we still have about this much beef left if we're still hungry afterwards. It's a really nice meal prep. <clears throat> and we also each have one slice. Somebody took the bigger slice. Who did uh, that? Did you? Do Hunt I, them I didn't down. have the camera running. I'm going to have to look. Hunt them down. So we got one slice of the Maria Emmerich bread that we made earlier, and I put a little bit of butter on there. Let's go ahead and taste this. Now, we didn't, the only seasoning we used was a little bit of garlic and then the Redmond organic garlic pepper. There's no onion, which is how I normally make my pot roast. It's so good. Mmm. It's not until you try it without some of these, like the onions and potatoes and stuff. If this is your first time and you're like, okay, well, I have to have carrots. Doesn't it have to have carrots to be a pot roast? No. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, we can make it and it's nice and delicious and meaty. Now, if you're on keto, it's okay to throw a couple carrots in there. It's not going to kill you, especially yeah. if you're just eating whole foods. If you're eating the outer aisle, your beef, your butter, maybe a little bit of veggies, that's fine. We're not adding carrots and onions, not because we don't want them, mm -mm. but because we're doing beef, butter, bacon, and egg. That's why I didn't add any tarragum or xanthan gum to the gravy, but you can already see Look at how thick this is. Nice I'll put and on, thick. give you a little more because I know you like it very I gravy. love it wet. Like this that. is a perfect gravy without even adding any more gum. But if you want that really, really thick gravy, like that store bought stuff, a quarter of a teaspoon of tarragum or guar gum, or not guar gum, xanthan gum is going to give it a perfect taste and a perfect texture. It's nice that we get to have pot roast on the regular. It used to be. We really didn't get pot roast unless we went to someplace like Golden Corral. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you right now, they'd always have the meat on one side and they would have all the vegetables on the other. I never scooped the vegetables, right. even before keto. I wanted to make sure that I had lots of nice beef because that was the treat. Now it's the regular. And the thing is, is that chuck roast is a very inexpensive cut of beef. So you don't have to do... You know, keto or carnivore, the proper human diet, whatever version you're doing, you don't have to use grass-fed, grass-finished beef. You do what you can afford. This happens to be grass-fed, grass-finished because this came from the cow we bought. But, you know, even there, we paid about $6 a pound. But you can go to Sam's Club, you know, Costco, even your local grocery store and usually find just regular, you know, run-of-the-mill beef, not grass-fed, grass-finished. And you can find a chuck roast usually for anywhere between like 5 to $7 a pound. And that's at current beef prices. Well, and it was really important to, to us to start out this year for those people that are doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs and show us cooking inside of an Instant Pot right. or a Crock Pot because I think a lot of people have that. So, again, you don't need a whole bunch of fancy utensils in order to enjoy this way of life. It just makes it easier, just like if you're doing any type of DIY project, right? The right tool makes it easier, but you can get this done and with it's, just It's a one, one pot, just one pot. Now, I used a bowl to kind of pull out the meat, but you could have just put that on a plate mm -hmm. and then rinse the plate off that, you know, you were going to eat on. So it's whatever you want, but what was great is it was super easy and, you know, you had, I salted it and seasoned it the day before to really tenderize that meat. That takes like two minutes. It takes like three or four minutes to sear the meat and then an hour and 10 minutes of just drop it in the instant pot and walk away. So your active time prepping this is no more than 10 to 15 minutes. And even if it's frozen, you can take that chuck roast that's frozen and throw it in instant pot, just double the cooking time, and it'll cook it right from frozen. And look at that. I just realized our cabinets are open. Oh, sorry, Heath. I didn't do that one. That's, this one is on you for sorry. getting the bowl. But, yeah. So we're going to finish eating, and we'll come back and wrap up the vlog. Tabitha? Sit, stay. Okay, go get it. Good job. Bring it back. Oh, are you gonna give it to me? Oh, yeah, you're going to give it to me. Fun fact about Tabitha, she will always use the stairs at the shallow end of the pool to get into the pool. She will not jump in the deep end. So watch this. It's kind of funny. Okay, Tabitha. 
Go get it. Yep, she's using the stairs. Good job. She wants me to come to her. <laughs> Are you gonna bring it to me? You wanna bring it to the couch. Good job. Oh. So I took down, <laughs> what are you doing? You walk towards the light. Obviously, isn't that what every single movie tells you? Walk toward the light. So I took down the ceiling light because we kept hitting it playing the Oculus Plus. The ceiling light was affecting the air conditioner because the air conditioner is right here. And what would happen is all of a sudden you would be using the fan and it would make the air conditioner think the temperature in the house was like five to 10 degrees colder. Then Rachel would try to lower the air conditioner even more telling me the air conditioner is not working. It was working, it just thought it was much colder in the house than it was. So by taking down the fan, we eliminate that issue. And we really don't need a fan since there's a vent for the ceiling, for the air conditioner right there in this room. And this was a flush mount LED light that I got on Amazon. It was like half the price of buying it from uh, Home Depot and you can connect it to Wi-Fi. And then what are you doing? Changing the color. <laughs> you can connect it to Wi-Fi, you can change colors, although I have not figured out how to use the remote control yet. Oof. Oh. We were just playing some Oculus Quest VR. Oh my gosh. We we did this new one called Cook. Cookout. It was it's it's not an exercise thing, but I felt like we were getting some exercise towards the end. It was like on sale today for $13 and we have a bunch of like store credit. The only downside with the quest is is if you have two of them, like we have two of them because we have Caleb's got one, that each headset has to buy the game, but at least it's not each headset has to buy a sixty dollar game. No, like it's like a like thirteen dollar. It was thirteen. It's normally okay. twenty. It's on sale for thirteen, and every day they have deals. But this thing, it reminded me. What was that it's game? Like a short order cook. Yes, remember that game when you were kids? There was an arcade thing. Remember you had beer tap where you had to serve beers, and there was one where you had to put sandwiches. It's kind of like that, but it's all in three D, and you're chopping, and you got to work. It's, it's kind of interesting because it's like I'm doing it, but I can only put certain things on. So she's got to put certain things on. It's really good. And you got to call it out. It's good communication skills. It's very good eye-hand coordination. Yeah, Because that's something that I don't think I'm great at. So I feel like it's building that. And it's definitely building the critical thinking skills. And it was a good workout because you're like chopping and throwing. And oh. you have to play on your feet. You can play sitting down, but we decided just stand on your feet because... It's like having a standing desk, it's right? Like you're a, getting a little bit more like movement because you're standing up. You're like a short order cook. So that it was fun though. It, it felt like parenting. <laughs> parenting 101 where you're just like, you feel like you live in the kitchen and you're just serving food over and over again. It, it was kind of, it was, it was, I just had so much fun. Me so, too. Um, we're going to end the day here. I, I was thinking about having a keto chow creamy ice cream or splitting one with you. I don't know if you want anything. I am. But, Full to the gills. I, I'm kind of full. Maybe I'll have one a little later after we turn off the camera. I haven't decided yet. But it's actually not too late. It's only 10 after 8. This is like one of our earliest days ever. It is. However, I have to be at church at 6.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I have a feeling like turning in early is probably the order of the day. Yeah. So overall, great day. Did have those few issues with keto on the couch. Hopefully we don't have that again. I'm yeah. not quite sure what it was. There must have been some kind of a problem between us to restream because I, when I downloaded the first half of the you know whole stream from restream because they record everything we do, the jitteriness was in there too. Right. But there was no issues between restream and YouTube. So who knows? We did find that we were able to fix it by going directly to YouTube, but... How bad you want it. Yeah. That's, the, that's, I felt like, was, you know, the Monday message. Mm -hmm. How bad do you want to persevere? And right. I feel like it's an excellent message for January because I think everybody, even, like, sometime in December is looking forward to, okay, I'm going to get my act together in January, but you feel like 
it's going to be under perfect circumstances, right. which it never is because right. life. So yeah. you just have to want it bad enough to push through. So tomorrow's menu, not quite sure. I'm debating between steak and then burger leftovers because we have a couple of burgers that are defrosted. We haven't cooked up yet. I want burgers, We actually. have keto chow chili cooked up and we have some of the pot roasts still cooked up so i'm thinking like burgers topped with pot roast topped with chili hello like beef on beef on beef yeah that sounds like a really good meal but uh, at three o'clock tomorrow we actually have appointments to go get our passports for the low carb cruise even though you don't technically need it we, we just want to make sure passports. we have one so we have an appointment for three o'clock so tomorrow's going to be a super super busy day yeah so it'll probably be like a tuesday wednesday kind of vlog because tuesdays are usually our our big work days yeah so if you like seeing videos like this Take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we play a competitive cooking game, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.